Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is part two of the short solo cross country from Johnstown to Dubois Airport. Hopefully you saw the first half, but if not, I'm going to link it right up there so you can watch that one before jumping into this content. And since you probably already watched the first one, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Throttle 1000 RPM, fuel pump off. We're just going to leave it off because I said the pressure was a tad low, so we're just going to leave it on. All right, we've already switched our fuel tank to our other side, to the left. All right, we're good. Oil pressure. Good. Fuel pressure right at the green. We're hot, so yeah, she'll creep up. Oil temp. Getting a little static because the doors are open. Okay, alternator, amps, we're good. After start mixture, lean one inch. Avionics on, we're already on. instruments set as needed. Taxi and brakes, flight instruments check. Okay, so we're gonna head to, um, okay, so true course of 177, 183, magnetic is 193. Uh, we are in Dubois. Dubois traffic, Warrior 44580, uh, getting ready to taxi to runway 25. I believe I heard somebody else calling in the pattern. Dubois traffic. 56 Juliet Bravo, uh, we're five miles to the northwest. We'll be entering a crosswind for 25. Alright, uh, I think I can get out in front of you. Now, you know what, I'll just wait for you to come in. I'm not in a rush. Uh, 580. Dubois Regional Airport. Automated weather observation 1532. Traffic, uh, 4628 Bravo is turning left base for runway 25. already. Light on. Any collision lights on. Trim set for takeoff. Noise traffic. 46 Juliet Bravo. We're turning final 2-5. We're going to be full stop. Three Boys Traffic Warrior 44580 entering runway 25 for a left turnout to a south departure holding until traffic clears. 
clears the runway. Do voice traffic. Four fifty six size Julia Bravo, work clear of the active, do voice. We're going to do a uh, short field again. Two notches of flaps. Full power. Although it feels like our brake on the right is not real happy. Full power. Everybody's good. Lots of right runner. Airspeed's alive. Airspeed's alive. 41. 50, rotate, rotate. First notch out. And we'll close our little window. Uh, all right, now it's time to be calm. Clear of obstacles, last notch out. Trim back, trim back, trim back, trim back, trim back, trim back, trim back. Uh oh, getting pushed around a bit. Getting pushed around a lot. All right, we're gonna take this up to 6,500 feet this time. Try to get above all this junk. Uh, we got heat of the day, and we got a lot of hills, and it doesn't look like we have any traffic, so. Dubois traffic, Warrior 44580, making a left turn from runway 25, heading southbound, uh, Dubois traffic. Whoa. We're getting pushed all over the dang place. Trim forward. Okay. Get our butt in the seat a little better. Got a cruise climb coming. Puppies coming up beside us. Nothing on the ADSB, which is good. All right, so our climb out should be. Our climb out should be. Let's see. Uh, six minutes. Says we're two minutes and forty nine seconds in. Well, our climate's going to change because we're going to go up higher this time. Because once we're above this layer of these puffy clouds, the air was real smooth. Castle traffic, Warrior Pack, six nine eight seven deployed to the city south. Still not five miles away from the airport. We'll just leave it on this frequency a little longer and listen. Getting close to our, our heading. And we can turn our landing light off. 
Look at our climb checklist real quick, I guess. Run up, take off. Before takeoff, before landing, shut down, cruise, climb. Throttle full, which we're doing. Flaps up, they are. And cruise climb 80 to 90, which we are. And we will just stay west of this little cloud. We're going to be uh, ILS runway 2, Info traffic. Uh, just a 7 through 9 Aquino form. We're on about a uh, 12 mile final runway 22 ILS approach to Zanesville. Okay. Everything's good. I don't know if that battery is going to last in this camera, and if not, I appreciate everybody who's followed along, and uh, we'll have to do something better with uh, our other camera. Yeah, I can feel the air smoothing out already, just getting up to 5,000. So, you can see the layer right here, and I don't believe this is all broken. We're not going to have to deal with anything getting back into Johnstown. This way. And if we see that the layer is getting thick, which it's not supposed to, um, we will just go below it. Alright, we got a nice climb going. Overshot our heading again. But now we're not getting bumped around or pushed around. It'll make the flight a lot more relaxed. All right, we're at 55. Got another 800 feet to go, or thereabout. We'll be well above this cloud layer. I don't see any traffic. Sixty one hundred feet. And what do we say our magnetic was gonna be? One one ninety three. So yeah, we're close, but we're gonna come back over our path. And our DG. Call me out of traffic. Damn it. 629 Delta Charlie. Just to be doing a midfield crossover for runway 25. Uh, Alright, we're going to switch back over to Johnstown's tower. Alright, we're at 6,500 feet. Throttle back. Don't want to keep climbing. Throttle back. Throttle back. Throttle back. Nose down, throttle back. Let's see, we were going to shoot for about 2450. Seems to be real nice. And we're getting close to our intercept again. On the next flight, we'll uh, need to trim down still. The next flight, uh, some VORs, we'll have a little bit more time. Alright, just a nice relaxing flight back home. Yeah, you saw how bad we were getting pushed around. We still got a light blinking. Yeah, it's still blinking, how about that? Um, <laughs> when we came off that runway. And uh, that, that landing in I just, I realized after I landed and got out of the plane and was looking around, um, on our heading, um, I realized that um, even though they were calling just variable in 06, we were actually, uh, we were actually uh, landing with a tailwind, uh, which is never good. Um, you know, I should have paid more attention. And, uh, 
paid a little more attention and uh, checked that windsock a little better. But uh, no harm, no foul. Need to get back down. About 100 feet high. And we're tracking good just to the west of our Tracking good just to the west. We have a ground speed of 112 knots, which is just about what I was figuring. What do we got? Uh, 110. And 117.2 is what I was calling it. Okay. Yeah, we're on our left tank, which is our full tank. We have oil pressure, fuel pressure, oil temp is good. Uh, temperatures are okay, oil. All right, everything's good. The shoulder strap sucks. Okay, so we're a little past time since we climbed higher. We have a road below us, train tracks. Okay. Which is good. Okay. The map mode. Make sure we're as bright as we can be, 100%, yes. Got a little bit of a glare. Drop it just ever so slightly. All right, we're doing good. Pull that power back just a touch more. little bit. <sighs> uh, I guess I can take that shoulder strap off until we land, but... Like we have some traffic, but he's below us quite a bit. Looks like we have a bit of a crosswind. All right, so we've been in it for 15 minutes. Where should we be? Uh, looks like we should be coming over the train tracks at 16 minutes. And I believe I see the road below us. Okay, we're good. We're good, and we're on track. Scott Stone Tower, Cherokee 3037 Fox. 3037 Fox Tower. Yeah, we're about 10 miles to your uh, south. We're inbound for some pattern work, and we have Zulu. 37 Fox, Roger. Uh, report the left base, runway 23. Call you on the left base, 23, 37 Fox, sir. Alright, so we got 10 miles, and let's. 15. All right, there's that other set of uh, railroad tracks, or uh, power lines, I mean. Where are we at? Oh, all right, so we're heading that way. All right, so we have this town coming up. blown around a bit. Let's get back on track. Alright, we can put in Johnstown weather again. I'm 
this way. That's going to be over here. If we get back on track. But another. Another seven miles. There's the little town right there. Cool. Now, let's see. Where were we descending at? Before we get to the. About when we we're a beam of uh, Evansburg, but I think we're going to have to drop down a little faster. Since we're so far, since we decided to go back up. All right, let's get back on our heading. About one nine magnetic. All right, we're at uh, 19 minutes. Let's see, 19 minutes. Uh, 24 minutes. The other set of train tracks. I can't quite see that layer, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually descend down through over here, because there's a nice big hole, and we're just going to be safe. No traffic off to this direction. Drop back down to 4,500. Off our course a little bit, but we have a big cloud right there. We'll be able to see exactly where this layer is. And we're right there. About 4,800, I guess, for about 5,000. Now we're going to have to fight the whole time. All right. There we go. I want to keep dropping now. I want to keep dropping. I don't want to keep dropping. Uh, yeah, it's going to make a fun ride. Holy crap. Fox shot, clear traffic approved, port base. Okay, left traffic approved and report base. Uh, three step four. Let's just get some power on it, because we're almost back down to 4,000. Trip, trip, trim. About 10 miles of the class delta. About five. Trip, trip, trim. Well, I guess we still need to go up a little bit.
Break! Break! Break, break, break. Ugh, I hate the bumpies. But we're still in the green, so we're good. Trim. Bone it down. All right, we're on uh, Johnstown Tower. We are 11 miles north of the field. Johnstown Tower Warrior 44580 is about 11 miles north of the field inbound. Expect visual approach. 44580, Johnstown Tower. Report the right base, runway 23. Johnstown DLR DME. Right base, runway 23. Warrior 580. Whoa. Field. Oh, it'll start to drop, descend a little bit. All right, let's descend. We don't have to go too far. Pattern altitude's 33. Johnstown, three step box, left base, two three, and we will be we full stop. Three seven Fox, shot only two three one two five zero at seven, clear to land. To land, thanks. Three step box. Sierra John Santo, hold short for uh, landing traffic, turning up final. 4377 Sierra, holding short, 23. 4377 Sierra, runway uh, 23, lap and wait. Line up and wait, 2377 Sierra. 37 Foxtrot, right on 33, right on Charlie, taxi to park this frequency. Right on 33, right on Charlie, taxi to park with you. 37 Fox, thank you. 580 traffic uh, lining up the way is a uh, Cherokee will be departing here shortly. Looking for traffic, uh, 580. 770 Sierra, runway uh, 23, wind variable at 4, clear for takeoff, traffic right base, runway 23 is Cherokee. Clear for takeoff, 23, looking for the traffic, 770 Sierra. Light arc. 580, runway 23, one variable at 4, clear to land. 580, clear to land.
trim those down. Seven seven Sierra, contact departure. We'll see you. Over to departure. Seven seven Sierra. Thank you. All right, thanks for hanging out with me and watching the uh, second leg of the uh, short cross country. And I appreciate everybody who has been here and has been watching my videos. And uh, on our next video, we're gonna get back to some uh, game repair. There's a lot of stuff in the shop right now that uh, needs addressed and uh, hopefully we can record some of it. But if you stuck around this far, make sure you hit the uh, bell notification and hit subscribe and go ahead and hit that thumbs up for us uh, because it really does help. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.